Download link for this starting project file is in the description. First, let's make the player scene. Click the other node button, and find kinematic body 2D. Then, click the kinematic body node on the scene tree, and click the plus button on the top left corner to add child node to the kinematic body. Let's add collision shape 2D and sprite node. Click on the sprite node, and let's add a character sprite. Go to the file browser on bottom left corner, and open the GFX folder, then character folder. Pick whichever character you want. Drag the image to the texture column on the inspector tab at the top right corner. Adjust the character sprite position so the feet would align with the origin. Next, click on the collision shape node on the scene tree. Go to inspector tab and choose New Rectangle Shape 2D. Adjust the size so it roughly matches the shape of our player character. Without the Collision 2D node, our character cannot interact with other objects in the game. Don't forget to save with Ctrl S, and save our player scene in the player folder. Now, Let's assign our input map. Go to Project, Project Settings, and open Input Map tab. Add Move Left. Move Right. And Jump Action. And then, assign control on the action by clicking the plus icon on the right side of the action list. Choose physical key, and click the keyboard key or controller button you want to assign the action to, and Bob's your uncle. Next, let's attach a script to our player node. Click on player kinematic body 2D node on the scene tree. And then click the paper icon, top right of the scene tree tab. Name the script, player. And choose empty template, because we are big boy now we write our own script. In this script we have three variables, the move speed, gravity, and jump impulse. Just assign arbitrary value on them for now. They can be changed later on the inspector, if you type export keyword before the variable. We also have velocity variable, which will store our player character movement. Assign vector to zero for now, because we will change the value through code. Then, we create move function. This if, condition checks if the player press the jump button, the button we assigned before, and if the player character is on floor. If both condition are true, we assign the jump impulse on velocity, but only on Y axis. We used negative jump impulse because, in Go.2D, the up direction is negative on Y axis. Next, we make horizontal direction variable, to store our left and right input direction. Using input.getActionStrength, you can use if statements instead, but I prefer this way because it support analog stick controls. Lastly, we assign our horizontal direction, multiplied by move speed to velocity and delta, but only on the x-axis, hence the dot x, but in the video I forgot to multiply by delta, so don't follow my step. We then call move and slide function assigning velocity variable and vector 2 dot up. So go dot knows which way is up in our game, because without the vector 2 dot up, the is on floor function will always return false. Next, we call our move function in physics process function so it get called every frame. By the way, if in your editor the autocomplete does not include the type hints like mine. You can enable it by going to editor, editor settings, under text editor, completion, and check the add type hints checkbox. Let's add gravity. Make apply gravity function. In this function, we're going to check if player character is not on floor. 
and then add gravity multiplied by delta to whatever the current value inside velocity dot y variable, hence the plus equal sign, we also checks if player is on floor. If this condition is true then we set velocity dot y to zero. If we don't do this, velocity dot y value will go over the roof after only a few moment of runtime. We also want to call the apply gravity function in physics process function and assign delta as its parameter. So we can use delta in apply gravity function. And, that's pretty much it. We're done with the code. Before we test the player code, let's make a test level. If you downloaded the project in the description, I've prepared a test scene with auto tile ready to go. You just open the scene, click on the tile map node and be creative. Those beautiful and free art used in this game are provided by Kenny. I'll put the link to Kenny's website below. Next, we instance our player scene. By clicking on the chain button next to the plus button on the scene tree tab, by default, the player scene will show up on the world origin, which is top left corner of the screen. So you have to position the player node to your desired position. Press the play current scene button, or use F6 shortcut to run the game. And bada bing, congratulations. You are officially a game dev now. Go make your dream open world game project and give up after 3 days cause you cannot figure out how state machine works. Hi there, if you have questions or just wanna say hi, leave a comment below and subscribe so you don't miss out my cough cough shitty content. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.